With the laws of logarithms under our belt, we're now in a position where we're able to delve deeper and come up with solutions to an equation like this, but using other means. Because now that we know how to convert from index form into logarithmic form, you can immediately go in to saying, well then x must be equal to log base 5 of 10. Okay, and that will give me a solution. So I can type that immediately onto my calculator. So x is equal to 1.43 to three significant figures. Okay, so that's fair enough, going from the index form to the logarithmic form. Um, but with the log laws now in place, there is another method which is now open to you to solve this equation. The second method is one that I was primarily taught because at the time um, I didn't have a button on my calculator that allowed me to immediately type that straight in. So I was taught a method of logging both sides, and which means that if we have 5 to the x is equal to 10, then log of 5 to the x must be equal to log of 10. That's what we deemed as logging both sides. Now, the left-hand side, well, first of all, what we're doing here is I'm taking a log of base 10 of both sides, because even my calculator had log base 10 on it. So, with this left-hand side, we have this x in the, uh, as the power of the 5, which we know from the previous video, from the third log law, can be brought down to the front. And so I could write x log 5 is now equal to log 10. Okay, so log of 5 to the x is the same as x log 5. And then I can divide both sides by that log 5. So I know that x is log 10 over log 5. Now this looks different to this, but that's just because we're using a different base. If you type that directly into a calculator, log of 10 divided by log of 5, you should still get 1.43, exactly the same answer as we got before. So either of these methods are perfectly fine to use. Okay. This one, as you can see, has more steps to it. This one, if you remember the conversion from index form to logarithmic form, makes your life very easy. But this method can also be employed and is quite useful to know.